James Bedford was a psychology professor at the University of California, United States. Born in 1893, he entered history as the first human to voluntarily allow his body to be cryopreserved. On January 12, 1967, James Bedford passed away at the age of 73 due to kidney cancer that had already spread to his lungs. At that time, he was in the terminal stage. I feel much better, said James Bedford shortly before his death at 1.15 p.m. local time to the doctor who treated him. James Bedford willingly allowed his body to be frozen. Afterward, James Bedford's body was cryopreserved, a process in which the body is frozen at extremely low temperatures. His blood circulation was maintained through artificial respiration and cardiac massage. James Bedford did this not without reason. It was part of research led by cryobiologist Robert Prehoda, physician and biophysicist Dante Brunel, and president of the Cryonic Society of California, Robert Nelson. They injected Bedford's body with dimethyl sulfoxide, a chemical believed to preserve organs and tissues. Later, James Bedford's body was placed inside a metal tank filled with liquid nitrogen. To this day, James Bedford's body remains in the tank. It was eventually transferred to one of the most renowned cryonics facilities in the world, the Alcor Life Extension Foundation. No one knows yet whether the experiment performed on James Bedford will succeed or not. However, the plan is to preserve his body for up to 20,000 years.